Hey guys, Dylan here, Hamilton Sons Property Maintenance. Today we've picked up the Echo You Can Maintenance Kit for our SRM 2620 trimmer here. Uh, something you like to do every year just to keep on top of the maintenance, keep your equipment running at its peak potential. And what includes in the kit is a fuel filter, an air filter, and a spark plug quick three-step process and follow along you'll see really just how quick and easy it is so let's get this kit opened up here and you only need two tools for this entire project which is your standard 5 8 uh, spark plug wrench and a very fancy dancy custom homemade hook. Uh, this is just a piece of wire we had kicking around. You need something skinny, narrow, a hook to reach down in the gas tank to pull out the fuel filter, which you'll see. But those two tools are all you need. So we'll start with the spark plug. The old one's pretty dirty, definitely is due for a new one. Now this weed eater does get used a lot, it's our daily trimmer. Um, so it gets used four, six, sometimes eight hours a day, right from middle of June through till November. So it does get a lot of time on, a lot of hours, a lot of use. We've had this for two years now and it's great. Now for the spark plug, you want to find where it stops naturally and just a slight tweak past tight. You don't want to reef on it, that'll cause a lot more damage and a lot more headache for you in the future. Spark plug's done. Now for the air filter, there's just a knob up top you turn, matching knob on the bottom. In them. Here's the old air filter out and back behind this checker plate grating there's also a pre-filter as you can see that's pretty dirty so we will put the pre-filter back in put this back onto it Put our regular clean air filter back in. Why is that not fitting right? There we go. I just had the air filter the wrong way. It's square, but I guess not quite square. Now those are tight, we've got the air filter done, we've got the spark plug done, now it's time for the fuel filter. So this is where this fancy tool comes into play. You'll be able to see a black fuel line down inside your gas tank. You just want to hook it, bring that up, and pull it off. It's as simple as that. Now you will notice that there is a small little metal band on the black gas line. When you put the fuel filter back on, you want to make sure that's above the 
barb on the fuel filter. It just helps keep it in place and hold it there. Put that back inside the tank. I'll push it over a little bit. And that is it. We have done a complete maintenance tune-up on our Echo SRM 2620. Like I said, you can buy this kit at any Echo dealer. Save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money bringing your equipment in, having them do it and going to pick it up. Um, if you're mechanically inclined, if you know how to use one wrench, you can do it. It is that simple. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. You have a great day.